Hello everybody! Today we're going to talk about graphing quadratic inequalities. Okay, so what's a quadratic inequality? Um, so this is a quadratic inequality. Instead of having an equal sign here, you got a less than, a greater than, a greater than or equal to, or a less than or equal to sign. Okay, which adds a great deal of solutions to your problem. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, it's pretty simple. There's basically a three-step process. The first one is to just graph the parabola y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. But when you draw it in, if it's a less than or a greater than, you use a dashed line instead of a solid line. You use a solid line if it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. Okay? Then you test a point. You can choose one inside the u-shape or outside the u-shape. Um, it doesn't really matter. You know, the... A lot of times the algebra book will say to test both of them, okay? I don't think you really need to test both of them. It's not a bad idea if you want to make sure you didn't make a mistake, I suppose. Um, only one of those statements is going to be true, so you shade the region that contains the test point that's true, okay? So here we've got one. Y is less than x squared plus 2x plus 1. So we start out just like we would any other parabola with negative b over 2a. So we're going to find the axis of symmetry. So that's going to be negative 2 over 2 times 1, which is negative 1. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to put in a, horizontal, or a vertical line here at uh, negative 1. That's going to be our axis of symmetry. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make a table and plug in negative 1. So negative 1 squared is 1 plus 2 times negative 1 is minus 2 plus 1. Hey, that comes out to be 0. So uh, this is going to, the vertex is going to be right here. We know it's open up because the leading coefficient is one is positive 1, so it's going to be open up. Uh, I'm going to plug in 0, and remember, I'm going to get an equal answer at negative 2. So I'm going to do 0 because that's super easy. That's 1. So I'm going to get 1 out of both of those. So I get a 1 here, and I get a 1 here. Okay, and then I'll probably try 1 and negative 3 because I'm going to get the same answer for both of those because this thing's symmetric. So 1 squared would be 1 plus 2 plus 1. So that's going to be 4. I get 4 on both of those. So 1, 4, negative 3, 4, okay? And now I'm going to, since it's a less than, I'm going to dot this thing in. Just like this, okay? So there's my parabola. Now, uh, now I'm going to pick a point and test it. Okay, um, so if I pick a point, I pick just some random point, like I could choose um, negative 1, actually a real easy one would be 0 and 3, this point right here, that's inside the parabola, inside the U-shape, so the Y-coordinate would be 3, and the X-coordinate would be 0, so it would be 0 plus 0 plus 1, so this says that 3 is less than 1, that's not true. So that means that the solution to this thing is out here. All these points are solutions, okay? And they're solutions right up to this parabola, but not the parabola. Okay, so there's my answer. Now you can shade this in kind of solid if you want, but I'm not going to do that on here because it would take me forever. Um, okay, so let's look at another one. So graph the inequality, y is greater than or equal to negative 2x squared plus 4x plus 3. So again, I'm going to uh, go ahead and do negative b over 2a. It's going to be negative 4 over 2 times negative 2, which is going to be 1 this time. So I'm going to have a vertical line here at 1. Kind of missed here, so let's move that over. There we go. And I'm going to make my table. And my first point is going to be 1. That's going to be, uh, if I plug it in here, I'm going to get negative 2 plus 4 
plus 3. So that's going to be 5. Okay, so 1, 5, 3, 4, 5, right here. Okay. There's my vertex. I know it's up and down. Uh, I know I can plug 0 in for this thing and 2 and get the same answer because it's symmetric. So 0 is going to make that 0 and 0, so that's just 3. So I'm going to get 3 for both of these. So I get this one and this one. And then I'm also going to get the same answer for negative 1 and 3. It's probably a toss-up as to which one's easier. If I plug the 3 in here, I get 9 times negative 2 is negative 18. And then I get uh, 3 times 4 is 12 plus 3. So this is going to come out to be negative 3 on both of those. So negative 3 here, negative 3 here. Now this, since it's a greater than or equal to, is going to be solid. So I'm going to go ahead and make a solid curve in there like that. And now I need to test a point. Okay, so, oh, what if I chose, um, what if I chose this point right here? What's that point? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so zero, seven. So seven would be Y. And I'd have zero, which is going to be zero plus zero plus three. And that is definitely a true statement. So that's a solution, which means everything up there is going to be a solution. Let's try it this way. Um, Let's try the highlighter this time. And we'll go ahead and shade in all of this. Okay, that's going to be my solution right there. Now you can kind of cheat a little bit. See how this says greater than or equal to? Um, that means I'm going to shade above the curve. And on this one, it was uh, less than. They shade below the curve. Okay. All right. So now this method works for any shape. So if I look at this, this is not a parabola. This is a line. So if I graph a line, uh, y equals 1 half x minus 4. Okay, so it's going to have a y-intercept of negative 4. That's going to be right here. Gonna have a slope of one half, so it's gonna rise one and run two. So it's gonna go here and here and here and here. Okay. Just like that. I can go ahead and make a line that fits that like that. That's pretty good. This is greater than, so it's dotted. Let's make it red because everything else here is red. Okay, so there's my line. Okay, and now I just test the point. So if I test 0, 0, that'd be an easy one to test right here. Um, 0 would be greater than 1 half times 0 minus 4. So 0 would be greater than negative 4. Well, that's true. So I can go ahead and uh, I can shade everything up here. Okay, so there's my solution. Everything right up to that line, but it's dotted, so it's not that line. If this was a solid line, if that was a greater than or equal to, then the line would also be a solution to this. Okay, so you get to try this one. Y is greater than or equal to 2x squared plus 6x plus 1. I will wait while you pause the video and solve this problem and then jump back on here and see how you did. Okay, again, it's a parabola, so we're going negative b over 2a. Uh, b is 6, so that's negative 6 over 2 times 2. Ooh, that's going to be negative 6 over 4, which will reduce to negative 3 halves. Okay, so I get a nice vertical line at negative 1 and a half. Right about, oh, nailed that one. Okay. And unfortunately, i got to put a fraction into this thing. Um, but sometimes you have to do that. So, too bad. Okay, so uh, let's see, make my table, uh, three hat, negative 3 halves, so we just negative 1.5, we can plug that in there. So this is going to be 2 times negative 1.5 squared plus 6 times negative 1.5 plus 1. 
All right, so I get out my handy dandy TI 84 plus C Silver Edition graphing calculator and I plug this in two times negative 1.5. Whoops, we want that in parentheses. Negative 1.5 squared plus six times negative 1.5 plus one comes out to be negative 3.5. Okay. So one, two, three and a half is going to be right there. Okay, fortunately, this one's pretty symmetric, pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and plug a zero into this thing, and that's going to give me one. And I'm also going to get the same thing at negative three. I'm going to get one. So zero, one, and negative three, one. Okay. Uh, that's a pretty narrow one. Let's see. If I plug in uh, 1, that should be pretty easy. 1 and negative 4 should give me the same answer. So that would be uh, 2 times 1 squared plus 6 times 1 plus 1. So that's going to be 2 plus 6 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So both of these are going to be 9. Uh, it's going to be here and here. Okay. Uh, it's a solid, okay, because it's greater than or equal to, so it's going to look like this. Just like that. I want greater than or equal to, so I get to shade uh, the inside of this thing. There's my solutions. Okay. Piece of cake. All right. Here's one that's going to blow your mind. Okay. We get to do two things on the same graph. So we want y is going to be, we want the solutions where y is greater than or equal to x squared plus 4x minus 5, but we also want the solutions that are the solution to this equation at the same time. So y has to be less than 1 half x plus 1. Okay, here we go. You ready? So we'll start with the hard one here, negative b over 2a. That's going to be negative 4 over 2, which is going to be negative 2. So we get an axis of symmetry at negative 2 right here. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Let's try that again. Much better. Okay, there's our axis of symmetry. Then we're going to go back here. We're going to plug in negative 2 to this thing, so we're going to get negative 2 squared. Don't forget to put that in parentheses. Plus 4 times negative 2 minus 5. It's going to be 4 minus 8 minus 5. Wow, that's going to be uh, negative 4, negative 9. Negative 2, negative 9 is going to be right here. Okay, and if I plug in uh, 0, I'm going to get five, uh, negative 5. One, two, three, four, five, right there. I'm also going to get negative five right here. Okay, so that's at what? Uh, negative four. And I'm going to try plugging one and negative five into this thing. So I'm going to plug in the one because that's going to be easy. That's going to be one squared is one plus four minus five. Hey, that's zero. I always like to have a. Um, an x-intercept if I can get it. Okay, so we got the x-intercepts there. Okay, this is greater than or equal to, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a solid line here. Just like that. Okay, now if I was greater than or equal to, I would shade the whole inside of this, but we're not done yet because we have to deal with this. So this one has a y-intercept of 1. It's a line. Whoops, that's not a y-intercept, because the y-intercept would be right there. Okay, and it has a slope of one-half, so it's going to rise one, run two. It's going to go this way here. All right, let's go ahead and draw a line in here. Like this. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and, whoops, that's not what I want. I'm going to go ahead and make that green because we're doing that in green. Okay, 
So now I want everything that's less than that. Okay, so what am I going to get? I am going to get... Uh, I'm going to get this region right here. I'm going to get everything lower than the green line that's also above the purple parabola. Okay, so it's going to look something like that. The parabola is going to be a solution from just below this green line all the way to just below the green line right there. The green line right here is not a solution to this, so I didn't, would not include those answers. So there we go. I got two things going on at the same time. I got to be below the green line. I got to be above the purple parabola. Say purple parabola five times fast. That's fun. Okay, moving right along. Um, is the point 210 a solution to this? That's super easy to do. Um, so here's my X, here's my Y, I just plug it in. So 10 is greater than 2 times 2 squared minus 2 plus 9. And I just kind of figure that out. So this is uh, 4, 8 minus 2 plus 9. And that's uh, 6 plus 9 is going to be 15. And is 10 greater than 15? That's a big no. Not a solution. Now the tricky ones, the tricky ones on these are when this is, uh, when it actually is equal to. So let's say I work this out and I got 10 over here. So 10 was greater than 10. Well, that would not be a solution to this one. Okay. But if this was greater than or equal to, and it's 10 equal to 10, then that is a solution. Okay, so you can probably handle those pretty easy. They're pretty easy. So there's your assignment. Um, got a couple of pages here. Not a whole lot of problems today. Okay, 12 problems. You should be able to handle that. I will see you guys later. Have a good evening.